What's up guys? Uh, it's been a while. As you can see, I've gotten quite a lot of work done. Um, I've been preoccupied with personal stuff, work stuff. Um, I've been under a lot of stress recently, and I know I, cause I, know I said I was going to do a video after I finished each piece. Um, keep you guys up to date, but I've just been... <sighs> it's just been a time. Um, so, uh, I, I'm, I'll talk more about that at the end of the video, but for now, uh, the important stuff, uh, I have, I still have been printing, um, as you can see, I've gotten quite a bit of it uh, done, I've done the biceps, the forearms, uh, reprinted the thigh, and I've started painting, uh, painting some of the armor that I've already printed, uh, so you can kind of see how, so this is how I p intend on, so these are the base coats for it, um, this is how I intend to, to paint the helmet. Um, these are just the base colors. Um, I still need to go in with an airbrush. Um, so these are just, this is spray paint. But I'm gonna go in with an airbrush, and I need so I'm gonna go in with a with a somewhere a, between it like a dark gray to a black, uh, closer to black, <coughs> uh, sort of like an in between between these two colors, and then spray around um, to spray around this. Um, to lighten it up a little bit, um, so uh, I'm not gonna do anything more to the like, to the blue, but uh, yeah, definitely uh, to ease up on that black a lot because it was turned out deeper than I thought it would be. Um, as you can see down there on the helmet. So yeah, these are the base coats. Um, it all turned out. Uh, I really like the way it turned out. Um, he says still a lot more to do. I have to do decals uh, on it as well, and then I said I'm gonna go in with the uh, go in with that that mid tone, uh, that mid range black uh, spray along this, uh, pretty much all the black, um, and then kind of leave. It, I'm gonna leave it along the seams so it'll be darker towards the seams. So it's got like a little bit of an ambient occlusion, and then you have the dark lines separating, like the plating on the armor. Um, I'm gonna do that to uh, give it that uh, kind of like its own ambient occlusion. Uh, it's 3D speak, but uh, yeah, um, so it'll look a lot better. Um, so these are just base coats. Um, I've already started doing it for the chest plate and the shin that I've already got printed. I haven't got stuff printed too much. I've got the detail pieces almost painted. I just need to go over there with the dry brush. Uh, go over them with the dry brushing. Uh, like I said, I'll do this with an airbrush. Um, like I said before, I was going to do the Bondo, but I'm not going to, uh, but then I decided against it. Mainly because I was trying to do get this done before E3, which was going to be this month. Oh, not E3, but South by Southwest. But South by Southwest was cancelled, so... Uh, due to the coronavirus. Um, and so was E3. E3 was also cancelled. Uh, so those are two major things, especially considering neither of them cancelled before. Um... I don't, RTX may be cancelled, I don't know, we'll, we'll have to see how, uh, this plays out in the coming months, but, uh, yeah, um, so I decided not to go that route, um, uh, another reason why, uh, so that's why, why I wasn't gonna do it, um, another reason is because I've had so many issues, print, each of these pieces of armor have had their own issues, um, with the printing process, as you can see, because I had the layer shift, um, just, I mean, some of these were just, are simple things to fix, but I did have the layer shift, everything else, uh, I forgot to print, the, like, I forgot, I forgot to print this with the roof, so I had to do a lot of cleanup on the back, um, so I decided was, that was just a lot of work to do without just, like, completely covering this helmet and just Bondo, so, um, so I'd basically essentially be remaking the whole fucking helmet, and I don't want to do that. Um, uh, so I didn't want to go that route. Um, also, like I said, this is all, every piece of it has been a learning experience, and I think it'd be good to leave it as is, as kind of like a reminder. Um, like I said, I could clean it up. If it's totally within my ability to do so, but I'm just not going to go that route. Um, there would be a lot of effort to go into it, um, not that I don't, not that I'm put, oh shit, I might have, might have to do a little bit of sanding, because put a little too much paint there. Um, but, uh, 
Yeah. Um. Like I said, I could totally do that. Uh, it's not that I'm lazy. I just don't want to do it. It just... There is... Like I said, it is a lot of work to be done. Each piece has had its own problems. Like said, this is the first time undergoing a project this big before, especially on my printers. Um, so... Uh... I am, and I'm already working on the version 2. Like I said, I am doing the... Uh, I am going to be doing the uh, Halo 5 version of the Mark IV variant. Uh, I have the in-game files. I'm going to be converting those back into high reses. Into high, to high res model. Um, and this, there, this model is not quite made for... Like, it is, it's based off of Pepcure file. Um, which is a lot easier to scale and manage, but for 3D printing, it's not that easy to, to fix, um, if there's any issues with scaling, because you're not just printing in folding paper, you're using filament, and filament can get expensive, especially in a project like this, um, part of the, um, I ran out of filament, there's a reason why those are two different colors, because I ran out of filament, and the filament that I was getting before no longer came with Amazon Prime shipping, so... Uh, in order to get my filament on time, I went switched to new. So this is done with the Hatchbox Silver. Um, this is the Overture Blue. Um, actually, I think it has more in it because uh, this actually took longer to print, took a little bit more material to print than that thigh. Uh, but um, it took less filament. But um, it appears to, it looks like it took less filament. So this has, uh, I have enough to print off the other thigh, which will be the next thing I do is I'll go ahead and print off the, the second thigh. And then next will be the, the shin, then the cod piece, the shoulders, and the back. And then I'll be done. Oh, and then the boots. I still got the boots. But uh, it should, pr it should take me another two, three wheels of filament to get it all done. So, about... 40 to 60 bucks worth of filament to finish the rest of the armor. It's about 200 bucks total in filament to do the whole armor. Um, like I said, the armor is converted off the file, which is something that it's, it's easier to do the scaling and fix mistakes as far as proportions and stuff with that file because you're just printing off paper. Um, this is converted off of that, so um, it's a little bit less forgiving for making errors in 3D printing. Um, a lot of the issues with this have stemmed from, from that fact. Um, like wall thickness, different layers of thickness, because they literally just took the faces and extruded them inward. Um, so yeah, th there is... And then they just like click smooth them, put in some holding edges, click smooth them the model. Um, a couple thousand times. Uh, so, uh, when I'm going to be making, I'm going to be version 2 of this armor, I'll be making my own high res out of that, out of the in-game model, because I have the normal maps and everything else, courtesy of the 4 yeah. I'm sorry, I don't keep up on, the, I should be on the forums, I'm doing this and I'm not keeping up on the forums, and I should be, <laughs> um, but, uh, I will be, um, just not right now, uh, as you can see, ooh, uh, I'll get to that in a second, but, uh, yeah, so, um, mine's gonna be more conductive to the to 3D printing. It's gonna be more 3D printing friendly. It's gonna be more scale friendly. Um, because one of the things I ran into is for the shin, for instance, how do I get it on? It wasn't really made with that kind of thing in mind. Um, because you can just cut the paper wherever you want it to, but when you're 3D printing, it's hard to figure out where you want to put that seam. It's even harder to cut it, as I've already realized. It's another reason why I'm not going to go the Mono route, because I've already fucked up the leg. I'd have to reprint it again if I wanted to do it the way I'm going to, so... My phone's about to die. Battery's about to die. Um, so this is going to be a pretty short video. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to be, uh, a couple things that, um... I'm going to be doing as far as to make it more is, for instance, the chest plate. Right now, for this, I've divided the chest plate into two pieces. That chest plate is going to be divided up into several pieces. Um, so you'll have the front plate, the back plate, but the 
ribbing on the shoulders. So like, like sorry, the, the, the straps on the shoulders or like the, the part of the armor that would be the straps are going to be their own separate pieces along with the inside. Um, and they, I'm going to model them with the so that you can actually put a strap through it. So you scale the chest plate to your chest and you scale the back plate to your back. And then you can scale the the bridge for the strap to match your proportions because I am not. Oh. Let's try this the other one. So as you see, there's not a lot of. I don't have a large, broad chest. So I would need a smaller shoulder plate, a uh, smaller shoulder thing. This also helps it too because you can run a strap through it in a separate piece. It allows more freedom of movement for stretching up and down because that will be that piece itself will be able to move on um, so that's a couple of things that i'm going to keep in mind uh with the armor i don't know. um as far as like being able to assemble it put it on it's a it, it's like i'm just sep it, it wouldn't like take any more or less filament for that it's just a separation of those pieces to make them more uh practical to wear um, and more comfortable so that's something and I, I will be releasing this, mo this model after I finish it um, so if people if they want to try and print it themselves they can um, uh, keeping things in mind with the material um, I'm gonna keep walls well, pretty thin not probably as thin as probably a little thicker so it might take a little bit more material to make it but like I said everything is done with in mind with being able to print uh, the armor and assemble it and wear it easily and practically uh, so uh, that aside um, that's part of it because I already plan on doing that and I'll that's I'd rather put the effort the extra effort into making that perfect and like printing that out and making it perfect than I am with this set I do want to finish this set um, but I don't expect to do too much post-process work on it um, for those reasons um, so getting into what I've printed so far, um, we had the biceps, um, because I'm doing this one hand, I can't really show you how they fit together, but this is the front of the bicep. So this is the front, this is the back, it goes on like this, on the back of the, uh, the tricep. Uh, this is the outer, goes on like this. Um, I had to scale this piece in just because my arms are not that large. Um, these two are fine, but... Uh, this I had to scale in. Uh, this I had to scale up a little bit um, for the forearm. So this is actually the right forearm, but I'm putting it on my left hand just because they're, the f their overall shape is symmetrical. It's just the detail that determines what side is on. So I got my hand through there. As you can see, there's a lot of gap here for foam. So it's going to be some foam in here. Um, but uh, yeah. Uh, needs to be sanded but yeah so there's going to be some gap of course but that's not a big deal um it's also going to sit higher up on my arm so the elbow actually matches but yeah uh i like the way this turned out um i would probably if, to do it if i were to print it again i'd taper in the back i'd leave the leave this side right and then i would taper in the back a little bit but like i said uh i'm happy the way this turned out um i got so both of these done um, so with the thigh, I reprinted the thigh because I already, in the last video I talked about the issues that I had with the other thigh. Um, so this is Cat, Noble 2 Cat's thigh from Halo Reach. Um, I really like the way it turned out. Um, so, uh, I scaled this a little bit, um, based off of the uh, other one to make sure that would fit my leg and it does fit my leg quite snugly in fact and uh, a little too snug and there's not going to be much room in it for padding um let me put it on yeah uh, it's kind of it, it'll it's kind of like doesn't want to go up my leg all the way because of my pants but uh yeah, uh, it, as you see, it holds itself. It's snug enough that it holds itself in place. So there's not going to be much room for padding in here. Um, so it, 
Um, I do have range of movement, so I can go down on one knee if I needed to. Um, except my pants are kind of pushing it around, so it's making it difficult to move. But yeah, um, so I do have that range of movement still. Uh, so this is a... Uh, I probably should have left... If I, honestly, I should have left it the way it was, but uh, too late now. I, said, it, I don't mind it being a little snug. Um, so... Uh, it does have that plating on the inside that I wanted that I was going to have to model for the other one, but I don't have to do that because it's already there. Um, so yeah. Uh, that turned out well. Um, got it. So. Closer detail. So yeah. All turned out well. Uh, I'm re-leveling the bed right now um, to do the second one. The uh, filament gives me enough room to do another. I have enough filament to do this the second thigh, so I just need to change out the nozzle, re-level the bed. Um, yeah, and then uh, looks like everything will be done. I'll be good to go. Um, it should take me about three more, uh, three more wheels, two to three more wheels to finish everything. Um, so give or take another two weeks, assuming that I can afford the afford the filament. I got to. I just got paid today. I got to do budgeting, some bills to do. A couple days, so once I get all that done, I'll see about buying the next wheel of filament. I said I've been uh, stressing out for a while. I got turned down for two other jobs. Um, my job just doesn't pay enough, it doesn't pay well enough, but it's just stressful in general. And uh, I've been struggling to find another job. Uh, like I said I'm a 3D artist. Um, I do realistic props and textures. I moved out here to Austin to do that, and I haven't been able to do any of that. Um, honestly so uh, it's been stressing me out uh, financially struggling and stuff like that so I'm just kind of went to funk which is why I wasn't posting any videos uh, which is, but now I'm back um, I, just, I need to post these videos it's important to me that I do these um, regardless of whether people actually watch them or not um, I feel it's very important that I continue to do this uh, because this armor is really the only thing that's keeping me going. Um, is because it's something for me to look forward to, something to keep my mind off of uh, everything. So I am. If you guys watch these videos, I really appreciate it. I really do. Um, uh, like I said, this armor is a big deal, which is why it kind of sucks when all the conventions are getting canceled. I understand it's for safety and everything else, but it still does suck. Because this is part of this is part of what I look forward to, and it's like, oh, I'll have all this armor done, and know where to show it off at. So, uh, but like I said I'm still gonna go through with it, gonna finish it. It just means I can slow down, slow down, pace myself a little bit more. Um, which I, I probably won't even do that because I'm not good at pacing myself. <clears throat> I like to get things done. So, uh, I'll be putting off the next leg as soon as I finish doing leveling. So as soon as I'm done with this video, I'll start doing the leveling. Uh, you can catch my streams. I'll be streaming tonight um, of the build at around 10 p.m. to 10 a.m. Um, so yeah, um, I'm probably going to be doing a second stream tomorrow. I don't know what time, so unfortunately I can't tell you that. I might. I'll do an update um, on my next video when I actually get a special time. But I'm going to be doing uh, another update where I'll be doing modeling. Um, so I'm going to be printing while modeling. Um, I'm going to be working on my Weibo model to try and finish that. Um, I have also have plans to work on two other models. Um, I'm going to be doing uh, Megas XLR. I'm going to be doing a 3D printable Megas XLR uh, figurine. Um, it's not going to be pos It's not going to be posable. I might do a posable one in the future. Um, for now, I'm not going to be doing that. Well, I'm going to be doing mine, uh, doing one of those, my own little take. Because I see the models online, and some of them, they're not that great. No offense to people who made them. But, um, I w so I'm going to make mine. Uh, I might do them, I might make it so that you can, like, change out attachments and stuff. Uh, so I'll be doing that. I'm also going to be doing XJ9 from My Life as a Teenage Robot, because I've been rewatching that on Amazon Prime. Uh, with the, I think it's called Nick Now or whatever, the Nickelodeon thing, but I've been rewatching that. It's, uh, so I'm going to be doing a modeling XJ9 for printing, uh, Megas XLR for printing, 
finish Weebo. I already have Gur done, so I think I'm going to keep a common theme of making robots. Because um, I'm not a character artist, but robots are fun to make. Um, robot, there's also Robot Boy, Robot Jones. Might make those as well. Robot Jones is going to be stupid easy, so is, so is Robot Boy, but, um, to make. Uh, but I'll be, uh, essentially doing printing videos and modeling videos, uh, on those. So, uh, oh yeah, uh, so I said, um, one last thing to talk about, uh, this. As you can see, no, this did not come off my printer. Um, this was some, uh, cast made thing. I don't remember exactly who made it. Um, my roommate moved out recently. And, uh, one of my roommates, anyways. And, uh, he had this that he'd gotten. Uh, he gave, uh, he gave this to me. Uh, it's got some weight to it, some definite weight. Um, so it's, it's the Halo Assault Rifle. So, I had one that I was intending on making. Um, one that I found online, uh, that was fully mechanical, mostly mechanical, you can remove the clip, pull the trigger, pull the, the sidebar, whatever it's called, um, it had some mechanical parts, it even had, a uh, room to remove and then place electronics if you wanted to, um, I was gonna make that, uh, but in case I don't get around to it, uh, I will have this, so I'll have to repaint it, of course, uh, it's missing its barrel and its flashlight. They're actually sitting around here somewhere. I don't remember exactly where they are, but I do have those. I just have to put them back on. But yeah, no, this, um, it's a pretty decent size. Back up so, so it's pretty decent size. Uh, it, it is heavy. Because what I wanted to do was the one that I'm going to make is because the film is like, these pieces are super light. And I was going to use magnets to hold it back. I don't think I'll be able to do it with this one. This one's going to be too heavy to do it. But uh, when I do make one of my own, it, it will go on the back. But if I end up going with this one, that's fine. I'll just have to paint it. Uh, so. Yeah. Boom. So cool. I love it. So I, really cool of him to give me this when he moved out. He's a super huge Halo fan as well. Um, I'm a huge fan of the games. He's a huge fan of the games and the lore and the extra books like he's a little bit bigger fan than I am I'm willing to admit that but uh yeah so that's cool I got that um yeah um that's all the updates I have for now like I said I'm gonna relevel this I have enough filament so I'm gonna print off the next thigh uh do budgeting see if I get more filament and then I'll be able to print off the leg and the cod piece the the, sh the other shin and the cod piece that'll be the next things to print um I had tried, I had tried, so, this thing came with a wheel of test filament that I immediately replaced once I got actual wheel of filament, and I th thought, like, was it, and it didn't really print right, it was, it was weird printing with it, and models, and everything came out weird, I thought, oh, maybe it's just this filament, it's just weird filament, um, I thought maybe it was like, oh, it's just my... Uh, so I, when I ran out of filament, I was like, well, I have this wheel left. Let me see if I can print off the shoulders at least with it. Um, so I can keep on printing so I'm not, so I don't fall behind on anything. So I keep, while I was waiting for this to arrive, um, while I was waiting for the money for that to, to pay, to get that. And, uh, I thought, well, it, it didn't print well when I started, but that may have also because I was new at printing and had I have, like now I have much, much better at printing, vastly different settings. Uh, let me try again. Boy, did that not, did that fucking tank. That is the shittiest filament that I've already tossed it. It's thrown out somewhere. I said I still had half a wheel of that left. I tossed that out. That was the shittiest test filament. Uh, something wrong with the filament itself caused the, like it's. At a certain length, it starts thinning or whatever. I don't know what it actually does. But it caused perforations in the model. So, like, it was, like, pretty much, like, kind of, like, slicing the model in perforations. Um, and that was the, that wasn't the printer, that wasn't the G-code, that was the filament. Because I printed this immediately after with the exact same settings. Nothing changed besides the filament. And 
it just perforated like you could tear it at each of those lines and I don't know why I don't know what was up with it but yeah that filament was bad I'm super I'm appalled that they would give that like give that to you at all because that's just gonna ruin anything that you make um so like I love this printer to death but it's a nice printer it's the Inacubic Chiron but that filament they gave you is a joke and it's don't if you ever get if you get if you get any any sort of any cubic printer and it comes with filament don't if get your own filament don't even use that it extrudes weirdly it's br extremely brittle and it has like I said it has that weird thing like if you're printing a big piece you're gonna get some you're gonna have a bad time you're gonna get some issues don't ever use that filament throw it away like use your maybe do a few test prints I won't even use it for test prints it's not accurate you will get a much better result with any other filament don't use that for anything like get your own filament don't base your decisions don't base your printing ability on that filament I'm so jaded at that filament right now it just it was like I'm glad I switched over. I'm like, cause I, cause when I was started out, I was getting a lot of issues. A lot of issues that were imaginary. Because, uh... Gave me a lot of anxiety starting out when I started printing. Because it just wasn't... My prints were coming out right using that filament. And then I switched over filament. And I started getting... As I started getting better and I switched filament. Things improved dramatically. And I said, it just caused me a lot of undue stress in the beginning. And it can really turn off a lot of people with 3D printing. Uh... If you like, I can see it turning off people with 3D printing if they use that filament because it's not going to provide accurate results because it's really bad filament. So, word of advice: you get this printer, get your own filament, uh, Hatchbox or Overture. Um, you don't have to get the big wheels; you can get the smaller ones just as a test. Um, the big spools uh, or small spools, and then do your prints don't rely on that pr then then base your just then like base everything off of that so that filament is going to ruin your day and nothing is going to come out right so um that's it for this video um i'll try to do regular videos uh i'll probably do another video uh when i next video i am gonna no sorry my back back hurts a little bit um uh, so next video i'll uh, probably be after the next thigh is done uh when i start on the shin or chest plate or whatever um it won't be as long as it has been between this video and the next video uh so yeah uh that's about it um i don't have anything more to share I kind of went through my life drama right now uh, cover the, the gun, the armor, the painting, that's, that's everything for now, except I'm going to put on the next print, next print the other one, the, uh, left one, uh, after I finish re-leveling this bed, or it's leveled, I just gotta double check the G-code right now, because I, I just tried doing a test, and it, uh, was printing, uh, somewhat, it was printing, like, pretty high off the bed, um, like I, I did fine-tune it and tweak it, but I didn't like dramatically change the leveling of it at all, so I don't know why that happened. Oh, why it was printing so high off the bed, so. Um, we're gonna. Um, let's see. Actually, let's go. Let's go. Uh, let's do a test printer right now. Here we, here we go. We do this live. Um, we're gonna pick. Uh, just do a left shoulder for now. Because I can stop this. I want to see if maybe it is actually the left one. So, uh, it's our, it should already be temperature and reset because of when I did the test print. So. Any second now. There we, okay, there we go. So. Um. Let's double check and make sure that it... 
I'm just trying to see how far this is going to go down. Alright, so that actually is printing pretty high off. So. Um, print. Tools, more level, less level. Okay. Um, let's see. And it's pretty high off the bed. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, it's still pretty high. Um, yeah, I hate, so this doesn't stay, it keeps going back to the, the fucking train menu. So, we're gonna... 1710, let's try that. It's still a little high, so we're gonna go... Okay. Oh, Um, we're almost there. Uh, I'd say that's about good. Um, sorry, I've been I'm looking at things so I don't have to. So we're gonna stop this. Okay, we're gonna go. Tools, uh, axes. Pull that up some. So, yeah. Getting better print. Um, so where's my scraper? Gotta have to scrape this off. There we go. There we go. Um, let's go back. Let's do this live. Maybe be cool for you guys to see it. Um, print. Oh, there we go. There we go. Let me grab all that. There's a little bit. There's a little bit of filament sitting on it. Cleaning off the nozzle some because there's a film like coming out. might go down a little bit more. So right now I'm at 17.25, uh, negative 17.25 millimeters. So uh, we're gonna go a little bit more. Uh, leveling, we're gonna go to 35. So let's see. I think I may have done it. It just needs a new, like, printing head. That's all. So we re-leveled. Sorry, I'm, if it can, I can't re keep focusing the camera off because I'm trying to actually look at it. I just knocked over one of the shoulders. But I think that was good. I think we're at a good level. Um. Uh, I might want to go down just a tad bit more. Not by much, just by 0.5. Uh, 
going to use more. Not really what that settings. So we're at 17.40, negative 17.40. Um, let's see. Yeah, I think that's good. 17.48 works. Um, I'm gonna let this test run. I mean, I don't, really, I don't think I really need to at this point. It's mainly just getting, doing that fine tuning because I don't really need to. I'm pretty confident in the leveling of this, um, the manual leveling that I did. Um, I need to go actually clean the bed, but I'm gonna let this finish printing. Uh, I thought that might be a cool thing for you guys to see, so. Uh, I'll go ahead and let this test done just to see if I need to do any adjustments for any of the quadrants. Um, so far, it looks like it's printing evenly. Like I said, some of the stuff is caused because I need to do nozzle. So if you were seeing a little bit of an uneven extrusion there, I mean, that was because I was still doing the leveling, of course. But uh, there's some there. Um, looks like this one back here. Uh, didn't have much issues, so uh, We'll really see once it gets to the other side because this can definitely change like these this is it's level on this side um, As it gets over here, it may change so yeah um, I'm not gonna sit here and record the whole thing so like comment and subscribe um, So if you guys ever want to talk about printing it doesn't have to be printing it could be about anything art whatever um, if we can chat in the comments, I'm also on Discord, um, Instagram, ArtStation, um, yeah, if you guys want to talk about anything printing, if you have any tips, tricks, not just on that, but maybe on how to edit, like, on, on making video stuff and editing, I'm kind of running off, I don't really have any editing software, unfortunately, so if you guys have any recommendations, uh, I definitely would like those, um, I can't think of anything else for this video, it's, it's going to be about 40 minute long video. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm going to be doing the streams, I'll probably be doing a uh, modeling stream tomorrow. Uh, I'll be doing the live stream with just the printing tonight while I'm at work. Um, so if you're, if you're able to check, up, check those out. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, catch you later.